I know, Joey. We're inside right now. So we're kind of having a stressful situation. Joey, stay in here. So we got two dogs that just came onto our property and they're not mean, but they were gonna kill our chickens. Here's the male. And he was nice and calm with me. And we thought, okay, maybe we can just have him leave. And then they started to run towards our, our bantam coop. This is the one that really had me worried. Calm down. Wow. And so they are not aggressive dogs, at least not towards humans, which is good. They're less aggressive than our dog would be towards strangers if our dog went to another property. But they were running around and then they heard our chickens over here and things got really crazy. We have most of our birds pinned up over here in these chicken tractors, thankfully, but our bantam coop, they get to free range all day and they're right now they're inside. It's starting to get a little darker. It's getting towards nighttime. There's, there's Poppy. And the chickens were right up here. There's a couple of the, there's the coach in, there's Bubbles. Hey Bubbles. Oh my gosh, if the dogs would have gotten Bubbles. Oh, oh man, I would have been in bad shape. And so all of a sudden the dog started coming up to the fence and we don't have this area electrified because we put all the chickens in at night and right now our, our third charger just isn't working right and so we're getting that fixed. But the dogs came up and we're starting to fight their way through this and starting to move through it. And then right as it had busted over the fence, I was able to grab the collar. And then we took her over to that penned up area. And our first try, we put a, the, the, the male dog in and they're pretty agile and, they, and he jumped right over the fence. And so we had to get leashes on them. We got one tied up and it was a little too crazy with two in there. So we put one in the, in the dog kennel and one back there. And so the next steps were we called the owner. There's name and number and address to the owner of this dog on the collar. And we were able to call the person, but they didn't answer. So then we called the police and we said, what do we do? What can you help us with? It's really crazy around here. We're afraid these dogs are gonna kill themselves or they're gonna escape that, trying to bust through that kennel. And they said they couldn't help us. I guess we're in a fairly small county and so they they don't have animal control or we've got our couple of free range roosters over there, right over there by the pear tree. So we have the owner's address. We have their phone number. We tried calling them. Police won't do anything. Police just said they're gonna just keep trying to call the same person that we're trying to call. There's nothing we can do. We just have to hold on to them until the owner comes and gets them. But we're pretty concerned about what's gonna happen here. We really don't wanna just leave them penned up all night. We're afraid they'll bust out or, you know, they're gonna get hungry. We're gonna have to start giving them food and water. And we've got Joey inside the house to make sure she doesn't go crazy at them. So right now we're just waiting. And on top of that, we've got to take our cats in tomorrow. Our cats actually have their, their neuter appointment. I know. Becky told me this one actually got caught with its mouth stuck on the cage here. And so it about broke our cage. So there's nothing about this situation that's fun. So what would you do? What would you do in this situation? It's hate to have them keep them in these little areas for very long, but I just, there's not much I can do here. I don't have big dog kennels, and right now we're at the mercy of the owner, waiting to hear back from them. Hello? Yes. I think we're about for a straight over from where you're at. All right, so we just got a call from the owner. Said he was gonna have his wife come over and pick up the dogs. So whew, hopefully this will be resolved soon enough. Hang on. There he goes. There he goes. Hang on. But the bird dogs. No wonder they like their chickens. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know that one. Well, we're just worried we got taking across the highway and everything. Like I don't know what we're gonna have to do. I mean, they're like country dogs, you know. So yeah. Yeah. I have to figure something out. I'm sorry, you guys. No problem. We'll make sure that doesn't happen again. Okay. Some of them probably walked up. So how did that go? That was crazy. It went better than I guess it could have. <laughs> it didn't get our chickens. We got them put away, and she came pick pick them up. Tell them guess. what she said they they do for a job. They're bird dogs, so of course they're gonna go for our chickens. 
That's what they're trained to do. They probably don't have chickens even close to where they live, so I, it's just amazing that they got this far. <laughs> Whew, it's so scary what they could have done if we weren't here and watching. Yeah. See you in the morning, okay? Now we just gotta go find your brother. There you are. All right, we got both of them in there. So per the doctor's orders, we put them in here, it's a little after 8 p.m. We gotta take them to the vet at 8 a.m. So no food, no water. Take them in to get neutered tomorrow. Well, good morning, it's early. Gotta take the cats in, but first I've gotta transfer them to this smaller carrier. Hopefully they'll cooperate with me. Probably a little confused and frustrated why they're why they were penned up last night. Now these cats, if you recall, we got them about four months ago. We made a video about getting them and then building the cat house. And we weren't quite sure how old they were when we got them from an Amish farm. So they could be around the six month old mark now, but we wanted to make sure we got them neutered. All of our females have already been spayed, so there was no worry with having more kittens on the farm, but we want to keep these guys from wandering off and being good kitties, so we're going to go ahead and take them in to get them neutered this morning. Huck and Finn are ready to go, so I'm going to run them over to the vet and then I'll be able to pick them up this evening and we'll see how they're doing then. Alright, here we go guys. Did we get this morning started? Yeah. All right. Alright, got the A team out here today. Not the B team. Nope, this is the, the number one team. This is who I would pick. You ready to do some chores? Alright. Ready to go, buddy? Yeah. What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown. I'm moving on. Changes around me, on and on, I feel almost. Whatever happened to me, I feel almost. She's asleep. She's asleep. Wouldn't that be nice to sleep to chores? <laughs> so all you fans of Becky out there think that Jake doesn't do anything because I'm behind the camera most of the time, so you guys, come on. I do some work around here too. To find my number or my FBI file. Sweet is my location, sweet as well my destination. If you're looking to begin, then look no further than within. I'm satisfied with what I've got and still eager for more. The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door. Oh. I said you were twice with him.
Good job. Good job. Good job. We're, we're going to take care of the emus. Wait, wait. I take one with the tamworth heavy. There we go. Today's video is sponsored by ButcherBox, and we just got it in, so let's open it up and see what we got inside. ButcherBox believes in better. For them, better means caring about animals and our planet. It means improving the livelihoods of farmers. Ultimately, it means better meals enjoyed together. It's why they deliver 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef, pork-raised, crate-free. We love our pulled pork. Free-range organic chicken, wild-caught seafood, and directly to members' doors. This is about 35 pounds of meat. Now let's decide on what we're gonna fix for dinner tomorrow night. All right, what are we making tonight? So we're gonna do the filet mignon wrapped in bacon. Excited? Oh yeah. Okay. ButcherBox works by sourcing from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards for quality. You choose your box and delivery frequency. They offer five boxes, four curated box options, as well as the popular custom box so you get exactly what you and your family love. ButcherBox ships your order frozen at the peak freshness and packed in an eco-friendly, 100% recyclable box. You enjoy high quality meat delivered to your door and more time for amazing meals together. Oh, they look so good. Wow. Ooh -wee. That looks good. What do you think? I like it. That looks good. With ButcherBox, you can spend less time searching for high quality meat and more time cooking delicious meals at home in the new year. So just click the link in the description to get seven plus pounds of ground beef, pork butt, and chicken thighs for free. Now I'm gonna enjoy some steak. Mmm. Have you tried it with the bacon? This is really good. All right, we got Huck and Finn home after about seven hours, seven or eight hours at the, the vet. You guys doing all right? You guys ready to come out? Fortunately, they need to rest a little bit more so we got their kennel all set up with some food, water. You gonna help me get Huck and Finn out? Yeah, Huck. Huck and Finn? All right, come on, guys. Hi. Okay, thank you. All right, we got some food, some water. They said they wouldn't eat it all, but our cats are always hungry, so they're definitely eating. See where they go, see where they go potty? These guys are looking good. They're a little tired. So we're gonna let them rest and then tomorrow we'll be able to get them back outside. So the cats have been in here for a day now and we're gonna let them out. They are doing good. They're eating, drinking just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and let them out and let them roam free. Take it easy though. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. What? How are you guys doing? Huh? How are you doing? So now we have all our cats spayed and neutered and they're up to date on shots. So we're all good. How's he feeling? Do you think good? he's doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that Huck or Finn? Huck. Huck is the one that likes to cuddle, huh? Yeah. And that one's Finn, right? Yeah. Kitty. Thanks for watching. See us next time. <laughs> <laughs> I said it too many times. Yeah.